Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, part two of my sealing videos. Uh, I am just going to be using the Craft Buddy Crystal Art Sealer because this one uh, is half a pot and it needs using up. I have put the tiniest drop of water in this. It has got bubbles, so I'm going to have to be careful. I think you can maybe see by putting water in. Yeah, you can. There's bubbles starting to form in there. So just be very, very careful that you don't get those bubbles on your project. Um, I'll just have to be careful. That's the only trouble, as I say, if you do water anything down. Now, uh, this is a mirror that I sealed uh, a while ago. And yeah, it's come out really, really well as you can see everything is still exceptionally shiny and if i try moving any of these gems they are rock solid my nail is bending and it's still not moving there's just an odd one on the edge that i've not caught, caught properly that one's not yeah i've not that edge is all right but yeah um, and what i would suggest you do actually is seal this and then put the mirror on i got excited and put the mirror on and then realized oops <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, I should have, uh, yeah, I had to wipe the sealer off the mirror. I have just got a little tiny bit on this edge, but this is only for me, so it really doesn't make that much difference. Um, it has got uh, little things for hanging, little um, things from the bottom. I think it was little beads and things, but I decided I didn't want those. I just like the mirror as is. So, yeah, that's on acrylic. And that has dried really, really well. As I say, I leave them about 24 hours to dry. And that's come out really well. Now, this one, um, this was one of the very first things that I sealed. And it is on a video somewhere. And I think you'll see, uh, it's one of those rubberized mats. Now, I think you can see here, look, where I've gone over the gems, it's all starting to crack and come off and peel off. So this isn't the best material to put sealer on because it's not sinking into anything. It's just sitting on the top and yeah, it is cracking the bits in between. So it's quite unsightly. So I may have to sort of wash this carefully uh, without taking the gems off and possibly do something different on this. It's a little rubber mat to either put in your car or put your rings on or whatever. I don't know whether they still sell these or not. It was one of the first things I got diamond painting. So, but yeah, that's a little bit disappointing. So just something to watch out for. I mean, with the best will in the world, you just have to be so careful putting sealer on and not getting in between the gem. I mean, the idea of sealer is to like grout it, get in between the gems. But then the edges, I've not been very careful. I've not wiped off and uh, yeah, it is starting to peel off. So I do need to do something a bit more with that. But everything else I've done has just been fine. I've not had any problems whatsoever. So I was a little bit disappointed with that, but then I decided, well, that's probably the material um, of the actual project, which as I say, is like that rubberized effect thing. I've not seen any more of those since. So. Anyway, I'm going to get on to sealing my little October sign. Uh, I have taken the, well, I haven't put the chain on yet, uh, but this one, these were again a little bit disappointing because they are sticky. The whole thing is sticky all the way across. So even if you didn't want to seal these, you know, you're going to end up with fluff and goodness knows what stuck on these. Even in the cleanest house, you are still going to end up with house dust and things. Um, so yeah, it does need sealing. This one has got a little bit grubby, to be fair. Fortunately, the back hasn't got any uh, sticky or anything on it. So yeah, I'm going to get this one sealed. So my lovely acrylic brush, um, it has been washed. I had did use it on the coasters so i have just washed it under warm water and as you can see it's nice and clean uh, i've just dried the end off just giving the bristles a real good shake and put them on a little bit of tissue paper just to absorb as much moisture as possible because obviously you don't want moisture into your diamond painting oops are those gonna come out yeah they are so let me just snip that off i don't want a hair ending up in uh, my diamond painting that's it just get rid of that right so I've just put a little bit on there i've got my trusty plastic tweezers ready and we'll start at this end and go along and just cover our little gnome with our little pumpkin i have still got my full set of 12 to do so i have got a spare october 
So I may be gifting that to somebody. We'll just have to see. See what other uh, little events and giveaways and things that I've got going on. Uh, thank you so much to everybody that helped me declutter and uh, purchased one of my mystery boxes. It was uh, exceptionally kind of you. Um, I'm not a business. It's not something that I've got a shop that I'm going to be selling them. It is just purely I had a lot of diamond paintings. There was a lot I knew I wasn't going to get done. And I thought, well, it's silly having them sat around. Why don't I just, well, more or less charge people postage and uh, cost of getting to and from the post office practically. Um, but I did make one or two pounds on each one. And that has enabled me to buy some freestanding lights. So not sort of like light rings or anything. They're actually supposed to be uh, filmmaking lights from Amazon. Uh, they're only cheapy ones. They're not mega professional or anything like that. So I have managed to now get those. So I am looking at whereabouts to put my desk. And we'll see where we go from there. So thank you very much to everybody. And I did get a beautiful card in the post today saying, thank you very much. You are the bee's knees. And I thought that was really, really sweet. Lovely card. Very, very uh, pretty. Look at that with all the bees on. Somebody knows I like bees. And this is from Lynn. And she's just saying she wanted to say thank you for a surprise parcel and the extra goodies that I sent. She loves them all and can't wait to start them. And uh, yeah. And she says she loves watching the channels. Thank you. So that was a lovely surprise. Really made me smile. Thank you very much uh, for the thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you, Lynn. That was lovely of you. And, uh, yeah, I thought, oh, it's not my birthday. I've got a card. And I love cards. I have got all the cards that I've been sent. And they are on my notice board. It does need tidying up. I think that's one of the last things I've got to do in my craft room. So yeah right when you're actually doing these acrylic bits um normally i would try and wipe off the uh, diamond uh, sorry the sealer from the acrylic parts in between but because this is sticky and it needs sealing i'm having to put the sealer on it and leave it on because if i wipe it off it's still going to be sticky underneath I suppose, no, it would be too much faffing. I was going to say, I suppose you could maybe try using Goo Gone um, or something like that. One of those products that removes glue, but then you might get it on your diamond painting and you don't want that either. Let's just cover over that ant there. Oh, I had an ant in the kitchen the other day. Blooming heck. I said, get out. How dare you come in? I know it's warm, but it's still September. You should have gone by now. <laughs> And I mean an ant, the creepy crawly kind, not an ant as in uh, my mum's sister or anything like that. <laughs> All right, so the best thing to do though is once you've put it on, just stroke one way and try and take off the excess. So you put in as little as possible on the clear acrylic. Because um, if you put it in sunlight occasionally, I've found that an odd part has gone yellow where the uh, sealer has been it's uh, aging but they're ones that i've had from a couple of years ago i've just noticed sort of this year I and mean, we have had an exceptionally hot summer that they are yellowing slightly so yeah basically sealer uh, if you've not seen my other videos is like grouting tiles you are literally putting the sealer in between the gems the drills the crystals whatever you've got on your um project and just getting in between and sealing them together to keep them on the project so that if it gets knocked or bashed or anything like that it's not going to come off um, if you watched my last video where I was doing the comparison um, I did show you my sheep sticker and because I'd not sealed that one and it had just been in a box uh, then yet yeah, a lot of the stickers had moved and had started coming off now, I think I have uh, got all of that. So say, just go over bits where you think you've got too much on just the clear bit and just try and take it off. Uh, try not to put um, sealer into the holes where you hang it up. If you do, you can just poke it through with a pokey tool or something. So it's not disastrous, but uh, it's best not to do that if you possibly can. 
so I'll just scoop that one over there so that's one style of acrylic project done uh, now then this one is a little bit different because it's not sticky in between oh there's a gem moved there look uh, it's not sticky in between the canvas uh, in between the gems but it is still sticky on the edges you don't have to seal something like this but i always find it is better to do so uh, particularly if it's going to be in full sunlight or something um, and you don't want your gems to get knocked or whatever if you do take it off or somebody takes it off the wall to have a closer look at which can happen so i'm just going to start doing the larger pieces first and then I may use a smaller brush going to the edges, albeit this has got quite nice sharp corners for doing edges. So let's just uh, get around here. So thank you for all your comments on the ceiling and what sealers you use. And um, if you do want to read them, they're on the one where I actually started comparing the sealers. Uh, a few people have put their experiences and what they use and it's always nice to share it's always nice to see now i think you can see there i'm just using the very corner of the brush and just going over the very edge so i'm not going onto this part what i'd done on that little mat was just go all over it um, and then of course it, it did leave that residue which is now cracking so i do need to redo that again i do need to take that off a lot of it is peeling off anyway you can just use um well either your nail <laughs> or a lint wipe uh sorry a non-lint wipe um or a, a dr sort of a dry baby wipe if you've got any that you've left out you know where you forget to put the lid back on properly and they've dried out they're really really good for um just using for taking glue off the edges so if i went all over that bit i could just get either with your tw tweezers or with your fingers just go around the edges and just take that excess off and that works out just a little bit better but uh, i'm just going over the top of these gems going a little bit slowly i do find this quite relaxing to be honest i don't know why i don't do it more often <laughs> i've left such a huge pile i think it's time because it's what I call messy crafting, you're having to get something out, you've got brushes that you need to clean, you're having to leave something to dry. Um, I tend to find that I leave quite a bit and do a bit all at once rather than just doing one item uh, and then putting it away and having to wash your brush and everything. I like to think, oh well, but I have left far too many. Some of these are from Smashing the Specials in June and some of them are still from February that I didn't get around to doing. Now I'm doing this because I wanted to show you that there are AB gems on this one and you think, oh no, will it do all my AB gems? No, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't um, dull any crystals. It doesn't dull any of your normal gems and you can still see glow in the dark drills once the seal. That was one of the very first sealing videos that I did because I get very curious. You know, I, I listen to what other people say and I think, Mm, is that right? And I did actually ask on one of the forums, has anybody ever sealed a glow-in-the-dark drill? And uh, nobody had, so I said, all right, I'm going to have a go at doing that then and see what happens. Uh, yeah, a bit like my experiments on all the poured glue canvases. Everybody said you had to treat them with kid gloves and not do this and not do that. And I tried to wreck mine and, uh, yeah, they were still okay. I even rolled them up and sent them through the post to uh, some of my diamond painting creator friends and they tried them and uh, they said they were okay as well i've just gone a little bit over the edge there so i'm just going to take that little bit off and uh, see where it goes there that's it okay so you don't need a lot a little goes a long long way craft buddy with their sealer do recommend that you take a, a non-lint cloth I've just gone a little bit over there as well and uh, wipe off any excess i've never found that necessary because it dries clear so i really don't see the point uh, you may do you may see the difference you may be somebody that does actually wipe the excess off the top of the gems but because it dries clear you still see the crystal through anyway and you'll see once these are all dry that uh, it really does shine and sparkle still 
I like this one as well because it is white. Oh dear, we've got dogs barking outside now. There's a big van just arrived, so let's just shut the video off a minute. Because it was making quite a bit of a noise. Although it has cooled off a little bit. It is still quite, quite warm, humid. Right. I'm painting all over in between these, so it'll be interesting to see what they look like. I've done the middle of that flower, haven't I? Forgotten where I've done now, because I've had to go downstairs <laughs> and come back again. So, but yeah, you can see how quickly it's drying. They'll say leave it a couple of hours, but I usually say leave it overnight. Let's just cover our little leaf with the ladybird on there and all the AB gems. I mean, it's entirely up to you, you know, whether you seal or not. As I say, it's something that I have always done. Because uh, we have got little Millie Moo in our house and with the best will in the world, we get little bits of flare, flare, <laughs> hair and fluff that was, um, in the air. And uh, yeah, I just feel as though I want things uh, to be solid as well. And I do tend to mix things out quite a bit. So if you've put too much on, just pick it back up with your brush and you'll find you can just spread it out. And if you've done it and it's, you know, the, the gems are still a little bit loose, you can always just spot, uh, just spot do little bits. So, yeah, just go back over and do another little bit as well. If you've done it and you suddenly find there's a gem missing once you've sealed it, you can just then literally um, go in with your uh, sealer and just put a little blob, a little tiny blob with a little brush and then just doing this very very carefully i ought to get my smaller brush really but i'm just doing it with this just taking the excess off and um, yeah just put a little blob and just put your gem on top of that blob and it will just seal it in and keep it there so all right so that's that that's that bit there done. Did I do all that bit down there? Yes, I think I did all that bit there. Yeah, I can feel it's tacky. So I just need to do these sunflowers and then I need to do around the edge. Uh, I think last time I did a video, somebody said, you missed a bit, which I don't honestly mind. Um, I'm quite happy if people say, oh, you've done this or you've put that there or you've done something wrong, because that's how you learn. Uh, and while I'm talking and doing this and getting up and down and uh, not concentrating, then I do miss things, so it's quite handy when you've got another pair of eyes watching what you're doing to tell you that you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I have no problem with that whatsoever. Right, so now I just need to do this edge, so just a little tiny bit on the edge of the brush, so there's none, so it's just on the like the tips, and just literally go around, and uh, we're just getting it in between the drills, just going round. So I will show you them all when they're dry so you can see them. So this will be two acrylic projects, one where we've had to put the uh, acrylic, uh, the sealer all over and then one where we're just putting it where the crystals are. And then we'll do a wooden one and I'll try and do a little bit of uh, each thing so you can see how it works on each one. That's way too much. I could get a very fine paintbrush out, but I'm just being a little bit lazy and just using this brush while I've got it. So I'll just go around the edge. I said in my last video, my nails do need doing, but I knew that I was going to be doing this video by hook or by crook today, even with the bad weather, although it has come out a little bit sunnier now, so it's a little bit better now. But uh, yeah, earlier on we had thunder, lightning, rain, absolutely torrential rain, my goodness. Right, so I think that, that well, that's that one done. So I was up at four o'clock this morning with poor little Millie Moo, she doesn't like thunder. Uh, yeah, we got a fully trained on um, uh, fireworks, she's not bothered really about fireworks at all. She's a little bit wary, but she's not overly bothered about them. Uh, but then we never really had many thunderstorms and then this last year we just seemed to have thunderstorm after thunderstorm after thunderstorm 
so yeah she's uh, a little bit wary she comes and she wants cuddles and she just wants a lot of reassurance so right this is my little uh, footballer pikachu-esque footballer um so i changed the color out on this one and uh, made it a blue one instead of uh, a pink top because it's football i thought i would um, do it for the team that my little great nephew not my nephew my great nephew that's my niece's little boy that's scary isn't it and they get to the age where they're playing football you're like oh my goodness me so yeah and the edges of this are sticky so i'm going right round the edges and as you can see the see like it does spread a long way don't be worried about it going white i prefer it to go white so i know where it's been it does dry clear i think you can see the uh, october sign is starting to dry clear now and just work it in in between those drill holes so one of the see the first sealer that i opened um, i think that one was from aliexpress actually said not to go backwards and forwards with the with the brush just to literally go one way well i like to get it in between the drills because that's what's keeping it uh, stuck onto your wood onto your canvas this is a wooden figure so this is uh, another material that i'm putting the sealer onto the little bits in between are sticky as well so i am covering those over I don't think on the wood it's going to show quite so much. I think it will just dry clear a little bit like a varnish. But on the acrylic, it can uh, look a little bit messy. So, it's just uh, get his little tail at the back there. I think it's his tail anyway. It's like a flash at the back, isn't it? I think it's a tail. Um, Millie likes the Pokemon movie. Millie is our little Scottish terrier for anybody that's new. Hello, welcome. Thank you for stopping by uh, hello to everybody that uh, knows Millie Moo very well she uh, did very well helping me on that uh, last video she had quite a bit of fun she's downstairs with her dad today there's too much going on outside she's uh, stalking the little dog that lives across the road uh, the little puppy the little violet she's still not going out for a walk very well bless her <laughs> But she'll get there. She's okay. She's a lovely little thing. Right, oh, and the, the base was sticky as well. So I just left a little tiny piece of the uh, plastic on it so that it didn't get a bit stuck to it. Oh, got my black glasses on my head. I don't know why. Uh, I'm not actually wearing them, the distance glasses, these that I've got. And um, they keep slipping off. So I've used a new shampoo and it must have made my hair really, really shiny. Because uh, my glasses just are not staying on my head. All right, just make sure I've gone all the way around those edges. Sealed those edges. And now I'll just get my little tweezers. Excellent tweezers. And just seal this bit as well. So that just seals in any stickiness. So you don't get any sticky coming through. Yay! Okay, so that's that one done. And then another one that we're doing. We just have a quick wipe of my desk. Oops, that's everything falling over again. Oh dear. I've lost the little, um... <laughs> oh, timber. Yeah, I've lost the little um, spot that goes underneath here, the little foot. It's come off, so I'm just using, um, this is a, a, I think a 10 placer. <laughs> underneath <laughs> just to steady it up so that my mat's not rocking these are my um, cutting mats uh, they're 31 centimeters by 31 centimeter square glass cutting mats i swear by glass cutting mats i'm not keen on self-healing mats i tend to find because i am quite a hard presser um that they tend to grab my blade and my knife if i'm doing any uh, intricate cutting uh, when I'm doing decoupage and things like that and uh, yeah they're, they're not good <laughs> so I find the glass mat I can't press hard because obviously it's glass and it's really really solid so yeah this is the first time I've sealed something tin I think or did I do the other one that I had I know I had a round one but I'm just going over this so this is a, a mirror 
your little compact mirror that I've got there. So I'm just sealing this as well. And again, this has got ABs and crystals. So when it's dry, you'll see that they all are okay. Uh, really, I suppose I shouldn't be going all over all of it, but uh, I think it should be okay. It's more clear things that show up more, but we'll see. Um, if I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake. And I won't do it again, if I remember. <laughs> Oh, look, now I'm getting it on my hands. I should have used my tweezers. Grab my tweezers. And, uh, yeah, just get it around. Because there's little sort of star points at the edges. Make sure that's... I think as you go over it as well, you're sort of like putting it on and taking it off. So it just uh, keeps it there. Right, what was the next thing that we were going to do? Well, let's just do this little B bookmark. And uh, yeah, you can see, look, these are moving. Just pop them back over the numbers. But as you can see as well, the ones that are moving, they're not moving when I'm brushing them. So let's see, I'll go a little bit more gently with this. Um, but I think you'll find that just dabbing it on so that it goes in between each gem, even though those gems were moving, and we'll just do the little leggies. Just dab it over the top there. And I'll just wipe that bit there. And I've just got a little bit of an excess there. As you can see, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna be uh, having to give my nails a real good clean before I put my nail varnish on. <laughs> I suppose I could just put sealer on my nails. <laughs> no, it's water soluble, so. The only thing with this sealer, well, as far as I know, with most sealers, um, I'm not sure about the outdoor one, uh, is that if you did put them, say, on a T-shirt and seal it, then, yeah, if you put it in your washing machine or try washing it in a bowl, you will just end up with um, a blank T-shirt or whatever you, material you've put it on. And, uh, yeah, they will just all fall off because it is a water-soluble glue, this, a water-soluble sealer. So if you put it into water, it is just going to dissolve and all your little gems will drop off. And I think there is a lady out there that made a video and showed the bag of gems that she had <laughs> that have just fallen off. And you particularly don't want those in your washing machine. Your washing machines are very expensive. You don't want to be doing that. Right, well, when I did my notebook, there was a lady that asked me how I would seal my notebook. And again, I will seal this as I've done all the others, but just try and go very, very carefully on the edges. Now then, I think I may get a smaller brush to do this one. So just pop that one out of the way. So now this is a Craft Buddy uh, brush. This is a number 12 they've put on it. So let's just get a little bit this is why the edges of my pot get uh, very very messy because I do wipe off excess on my edges of my pot so I'm just going to go very very carefully and just really like painting as I say it is quite relaxing just put a little bit over the top if you just sort of dab over the top of uh, any single gems it just sort of keeps them in place a little bit without putting any excess on and uh, yeah, it does look as though you are dulling them down, but you're not. Just take some excess off there. Let's do this bit over here. Again, we've got AB gems, so you'll be able to see that the ABs still sparkle afterwards. Well, fingers crossed anyway, they always have done for everyone I've done in the past. So we'll see where we are. So if there is anything that you do want to uh, me to seal to have a go i'll always have a go at something um you know i am a, a channel to um have an experiment and play about you do know if you've been with me a while that i don't like having a bit of an experiment and trying new things and i'm always on the lookout for new things as well uh, on the whole i think most of the sealers are practically the same um, I know there is like a jigsaw glue that's out there and i would think that this that will be pretty much the same as well the only thing I'm not sure on it would be varnish because I think you may find that it may yellow and crack with time. 
um, and there are the sprays out there i have seen somebody using sprays a lady did ask me you know why we don't just uh, spray them and i do think it's because well a i mean sprays i'm not overly keen on aerosols anyway um and yeah just spraying something over would be a lot lot easier but it's just whether you're actually going to get every gem and again if you're doing something like this on a picture it would be pretty easy but if you're doing something like this um you know you are literally spraying the whole thing and what it would look like with a spray on everything i don't know because this is like a matte black background um whereas if you spray a sealer on it, it's gonna uh, be sort of shiny afterwards so i'm not quite sure how that would turn out so yeah and um, you know I've, I've had a go with those other sealers and i have decided that i do really like my craft buddy one best i do think it's the best value it just seems to be the cheaper one of out, out of all of the ones that uh, I've tried per milliliter. Um, obviously, it depends on offers and it is personal choice. Uh, I'm not affiliated with Craft Buddy. I did used to be an influencer a few years back when I first started my uh, channel. But uh, because you could only show uh, Craft Buddy products on your channel, if you were an influencer for Craft Buddy, um, I, I left I decided that that wasn't the way for me because I like to try different things. I don't just want to be stuck showing one company's products. I do like to try different companies, see what's out there uh, yeah, and show you guys something a little bit different as well. Yeah, we all like a bit of variety. So if I miss any on this, you're going to have to shout at me and tell me. So yeah, it's quite intricate this. Um, I may just go over this bit because... This isn't on the book, uh, sorry, this isn't on the black and it's like the grey colour. I think I'm just going to try and see what it looks like if I go over it all and it will just leave it as like a shiny colour. Now again, it's getting it so that it's an even layer and making sure that I get the edges as well. Because I don't want to uh, not have the edges. I should have brought a little cloth with me because I do just want to wipe away because with that being matte it will show if you leave any sort of shiny on the edges and i don't want to do that so yeah but we'll see what that looks like because uh, that's just that little bit a different effect there so we just need to go down there as well and we need to get these bits that's another gem that's moved there look Shove you that way, okay. Right, and let's just go along this edge. So it's just a case of lightly dusting, but making sure that you're getting in between the gems and just getting some of that sealer on them because notebooks really do need to be sealed if you're going to be handling them a lot because the gems can move and uh, yeah, you don't want that happening. Now then, I'm not sure whether you can actually, with it being water soluble, I'm just wondering if you do get um, some sealer in a place you don't want it and you don't realise until after you've done it and it's dry. I'm just wondering if something like Goo Gone would actually work. Um, and then you could literally just go and take it off. That would be interesting to try. I might try that. I might try that. Try and... Uh, see if it does come off i might try it on that little um mat that i've got albeit that one's been sealed for quite a long time it's taken a couple of years for it to get to that stage so we'll see how we go as you can see it's just getting it is gorgeous this this um was it like a harlequin mask gorgeous venetian masks are they Oh, I'd love to go to a masked ball. That's something I've never done. Uh, it really wouldn't be Hubby's cup of tea. You know, getting him to wear that um, YouTube hat was the, probably the nearest I'll get to him dressing up as anything. I mean, I don't mind. Oh, but bit, uh, to be fair, um, the Halloween before he, uh, he went into hospital, before he got poorly, we did go on a ghost hunt um, around uh, Burton Constable. Um, 
which is the hall we went to for the craft fair the other weekend if you saw that video and uh, yeah he put his screen mask on and he did put a hat on as well a, a ghostly hat on so that was quite good um there was uh, a lady actually on that oh my goodness it was scary she'd got one of those masks if you've ever seen um, the purge and uh, the masks like the human masks but just frozen faces um, that the people wear on that she'd got one of those masks and um, you sort of like did you sort of looked around at her and didn't sort of clock that it was one of those and then you just looked and thought oh my goodness and that was really scary so there you are that is that one done so put that one somewhere to dry so it doesn't fall off anywhere and um, what else can we do oh we said we'd have a go to bag didn't we let's have a look at the bags so i'll go back to and i'll do the the intricate um bits with this so i'll just do the little feelers with this that's a little bit much that i've put on there just got a little bit much on my brush just do the antenna just go around with that just get in between if you just sort of work from the top and dab on top i'm just gonna have to try and get some of that excess off and i really should have brought a cloth as i say do as i say uh, not as i do as the saying goes i show you all the mistakes so you don't have to make them make sure you have a cloth while you're doing this so yeah that should be okay and right to go back to using my other brush all right so let's just give this a bit of a dab i feel as though this brush has shrunk i think from using that big brush now going back to using this smaller brush i feel as though i've got a bit dropped off <laughs> oh, wouldn't be the first time was the cry right uh, yeah, um, oh, we had to bath Millie. Oh my goodness, she's a funny dog. Uh, if you say to a bath, she goes and gets hidden. She really doesn't, well, I say she doesn't like baths. But if she wants a bath, she'll tell you. She'll go and sit next to the bath and wait to be put in the bath. And um, she came in from a walk yesterday. And she has been getting a bit roly and a bit smelly, shall we say. So I said to her, oh, well, your dad's in the bath now. Do you want to go in the bath after him? Well, she shot up the stairs and then started trying to get into the bath with hubby. And he's saying, oh, come and get Millie. I don't want her in the bath with me. I don't, I mean, to be fair, she's only got little legs. She'd never have got in the bath with him anyway. Um, she's not tall enough to have actually stood on the edge of the bath and got in with him. But yeah, so she had a bath and she sat there quite happy and she goes up and down on the bath seat. And uh, yeah, we have quite a bit of fun with her. She's funny. So there's quite a few videos of her uh, going up and down on the bath seat. And I've even, um, my friend's little shih tzu Lottie that comes to stay. Uh, yeah, we've bathed her hair as well. And she goes up and down on the bath seat. They're uh, quite happy doing that. <laughs> right, so just give this a bit of a wipe over. And see how we do. Alright, so that's that one sealed. Oh, I just need to do the flower, don't I? You have messed up about Liz. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, our daughter has uh, Akitas. Um, they're the really big teddy bear woolly dogs. And uh, the first one that she had, it was beautiful. It was really big. It had a massive head. And he really did look just like a big woolly teddy bear. It was gorgeous. And uh, when they moved into their house um, and uh, the grandchildren were little, well, I think she only had uh, our oldest granddaughter then. And she thought, right, she's asleep. I'm just going to quickly get a bath while she's asleep in a cot, you know. And uh, she's just relaxing in the bath. And she heard this thump. And then bump, 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 bump. And she thought, oh, what on earth is that? And it was the dog. Um, he'd climbed over the baby gate at the bottom of the stairs, just stepped over it because he was a really big dog. And uh, he opened the bathroom door, came in and got in the bath with her. <laughs> <laughs> so 
so she's sat in the bath trying to relax have a little bit of time to herself and uh, yeah the dog decides to join her in the bath <laughs> and of course she's in the house on her own with a baby and uh, yes yeah, so she had to get out and she ended up covered in dog fluff because they are very very hairy dogs those and uh, yeah it was quite funny well it made us laugh anyway i don't think it was that funny for her <laughs> And then finally, I'd just say I would do this one on camera as well, just so you can get a little bit of an idea on doing this. Um, so I'm going to do the middle bit with the big brush, and then I think I'll have to do the edges with the smaller brush again, because I don't want to get um, the clear acrylic, any uh, sealer on the clear acrylic. So this is the Rapunzel picture, and I did just recently get one the same style but with the skull on it with the headscarf on which I thought was marvellous. So there are quite a few of these available. I'm trying to not get too much on the middle bits but it's the only way really to get the uh, oops come off there to get the sealer in between the gems to get those like just well, they're, they're like snowflakes, aren't they? The large white gems sealed in place. Okay, so I hope this is giving you a little bit of a few tips. Um, this is the way I do it. I'm uh, by no means a professional, as you'll probably know. Um, and I do like to try. And, you know, it's just a case of getting used to what you like using. Um, not everybody is going to like the same things. I do like my craft body sealer. It is the one that I've used for years. Um, so I suppose trying different things, you know, uh, not many people like change, as it were, and you do get used to something. But uh, yeah, I am going to use up the others that I bought because another thing I don't like waste. Um, I refuse to have waste. Things just have to be uh, used. I'm awful, you know, I always have to get the last bit out of the milk and, um, you know, I don't like to uh, throw food away at all. Um, it's always got to be used and it'll go in a stew if it's not being used for this, you know. Uh, it's just something I've always been brought up with, you know, don't waste. And as a crafter, I find it very, very difficult to throw anything away, cardboard boxes included. Right, I am just going to have to use a little bit of a tissue on here. Because uh, I have a blobbed over that edge and I don't want that on there. I think Goo Gone will probably get this off if it's not fully off. Yeah, that's taking most of that off. But as I say, I do think Goo Gone will probably work on that. So, right, let me just get this last little bit up here. And do that there and just do that a little bit more there so this will probably be going to a little girl that I know that likes princesses I believe that this one is Rapunzel so right so I might be able to use the thicker one just to go around the edges but then those oh look I've blobbed again Oh, Liz, too much on your brush. Let me just scoop that off. That's it. Yeah, I don't mind it on the patterned part, but I don't want anything. I'm going to go back to my smaller brush. I don't want anything on the actual clear because it really will show up on that clear. So let's just start at the top and work our way down and not get onto that edge okay that's better just take that excess off there oh and i've done it again that's it yeah i will try the gogon and let you know um i'm not deliberately putting excess on so that i can try that but i just think oh i wonder if doing it that way might work a bit better sort of dot it in between and just stop it going on the edges all right so 
yeah because this is going to a little girl then i do want it sealed because she's likely to be picking it up and looking at it and putting it down and picking it up and it's not just little girls that do things like that either oh look i've lost a gem there and there's one just pinned there as well uh, let's see this is what happens when you don't uh, seal things get right up way up you right that's better let's put them back on again oh i think i might just have one missing there i'm gonna have to go play hunt the gem but never mind let's finish this off for now just get these edges done okay i think it's rumbling thunder in the distance probably end up with a little doggy wanting to come and join me in a bit because she always seems to want to come for cuddles when it's thundering it's quite good doing this as well because you do notice when you've actually uh, missed a bit and you've got gems missing <laughs> so, oh no i've got a gem missing don't know about you but i've actually framed a painting before now and suddenly thought oh there's a gem missing there and i've just spent ages putting it in that frame and now i'm gonna to have to take it out to put the gem on and um, there is actually a painting in the house that has got a gem missing fortunately it's right in the corner at the edge so it's not too bad but i'm very much i uh, yeah really should take it out the out the um frame and put the gem on it but you just think, oh, I'm done, hooray. And then you think, oh, no, I'm not done. I tend to hold them up to the light, actually, to the light at the window to see um, if there's any gems missing. And if there isn't, it's usually okay. Look, I've missed a couple there as well. So these are going to be sealed. And uh, I'm going to have to come back and put some more gems on. I think I've probably knocked them off, to be fair because just leaving these they have just been in a heap all together and uh, yeah totally my fault nothing to do with the company or the glue or anything it is just literally my fault that uh, i've not got them sealed and with doing that and just leaving them in a heap then things have moved and they've knocked against one another so yeah some of my Christmas ones last year I didn't get round to sealing. So I'm be interested to see what they're going to look like when I actually take those out this year to see uh, if they've got any um, gems missing. All right, so that is that bit there. I'm just trying to... So I've got two lots of gems missing. That's really bad, Liz really bad and um, giving it to uh, a seven-year-old she's gonna notice the first thing she will say to me will be oh there's a gem missing there oh you've missed one <laughs> the honesty of children yeah they spot everything don't they can't get away with anything with children particularly younger children because there's no filter they will just say whatever they think and uh, yeah, it's usually brutal honesty. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Okay, just uh, do these last bits. I think I don't know if I've done that bit or not. I'll have to have a look. I think I did. Do you know that's the trouble? I can't remember. Shout at the screen and tell me, did I do that bit or not? So just giving it a light brushing. Um, you can go over and do it again, but then you are building up layers of sealer and that can go dull. Albeit, as I say, it does dry clear. Um, no, I haven't done this bit. If you start putting a lot of something on, it will well it's just building up and the reflection's just not going to be there the like a 
um, transparency of it will start to disappear, it'll start going a bit opaque. So I would say that only sealing once, unless you've missed a bit, is the way to go. Now then, I don't think I did a shoes, did I? Because it was... Oh, and that's a right blob, Liz, honestly. What are you like, woman? What are you like? Not very good was the cry, right. Let me just get some of that off there. And get some of that off there. Oops. And just get a little bit of cloth in my tweezers. See if we can do this. And just wipe around there. That's it. That's it. That's got it. Yay. I was just thinking, oh, I've missed one there, but that's the numbers on the uh, mat underneath. <laughs> I'm going crazy. All right, so let's just move her out of the way. Oops. And I just want to seal these little gonks. Okay, I think you can see, look, that one is starting to dry already. We have got that little bit of Excess sealer though in between the letters which has just dulled it that bit. I'll see how that dries and I might have to experiment and play about with that a bit more. And I'm going to seal this canvas because I want to cut these out but I do need to seal them first because I'm going to make them into like uh, fridge magnets or stickers or something like that. So we're just going to go over and oops anywhere where on a special drill canvas where there isn't any uh, gems. I would try not um, to put any sealer if you can. I know it's difficult like on the B with the stripes but like on the hands I go over it just in case there's any sticky edges but then I try and take off as much as possible because I don't want uh, a layer of the sealer on the actual canvas part with no gems. So let's see, just uh, get around this one yes i want to turn these into stickers somebody did ask me how you would seal a canvas and um, if it's a full drill i would be inclined to get a biggish brush and just literally go over the canvas and um, the same as i'm doing with this but probably work it into sections maybe even use washi tape on the bits that you've not sealed yet so that you know you're doing that square and then you're doing that square particularly on a very big canvas but to be fair if you are putting it um under glass or under perspex you know a picture is going to be framed then you don't really need to seal them uh, because you know it's behind um glass or whatever unless it's going in say the kitchen or in a bathroom you may find that you just get a little bit of condensation and uh, you don't really want that on your um, gems on your, your canvas so I've got one in my bathroom I've got a large turtle a big smiley turtle uh, picture in my bathroom um, and uh, yeah he's sealed he was a, a huge special drill canvas and he's sealed um, because he's in the bathroom obviously it gets steamy in there with all the hot water and everything so but uh, the other canvases that I have on my walls in my lounge and my bedroom and things they're not sealed and um, some of them have been up quite a few years and you know nothing's come off them they've not needed um, they've not needed to be sealed and you know none of the gems have fallen off or anything so let's just do these little bees they will definitely be easier to cut out if they're sealed because the gems won't move so i love this canvas i've got quite a few of these so i've got some others to seal as well i've got another one to do that i've not done the canvas yet i've not put the gems on yet so yeah these are brilliant i love these uh, it's just something you know turn just because this is a canvas doesn't mean to say you have to hang it as a picture. So I'm going to cut these out and use them 
uh, for other things, either card toppers or something like that. And like the coasters, uh, one lady had said, oh, I never thought about using coasters as decorations, you know, hanging them up. But yeah, um, just think outside the coaster. <laughs> just uh, you know you don't have to like you don't have to use the gems that you've provided with the kit you don't have to use the item uh, the picture the uh, coaster or whatever key ring as a key ring you, know, you can do whatever you like with them and uh, just have a bit of fun and I always like to think of different ways of using things I think it's sad if something's just got one way of using it one way of doing things I like to play. <laughs> okay, just give this a good seal around the edges so that when I'm cutting it, it will be that little bit easier to cut out as well. These flowers are going to be fun to cut out. So I want them well and truly sealed so that they're not going to pop off as I'm cutting. All right, and then the butterfly one at the end. So I did change out the butterflies because they were just one colour and I thought, oh, I want them to match in with these butterflies, uh, the butterfly actually on the canvas that the um, gonk is holding. So, yeah, we're still going on with the uh, gonks. I've been told gonks are fluffy, <laughs> which, yeah, I think most of them are. So, yeah, I know the ones I've seen are, so... It's whatever you want to call them. It really doesn't matter, does it? I don't think one's going to pop up and say, excuse me, can you possibly use my correct title, please? Or if it does run. <laughs> I've seen too many horror films. Yeah, if my toys started talking to me, I would be out of this house so fast. Yo, what don't say me for dust. And Hubby would be chugging along in his electric wheelchair behind me doing four mile an hour. <laughs> Is that really bad? I'd run off and leave him. No, I'd be running after Millie because she'd run as well, wouldn't she? Actually, she'd probably grab hold of it and try and take it stuffing out. You know, she, she's pretty good on uh, anything soft toy-wise, particularly if it makes a noise. Goodness me. Yeah, we're good at attacking things. I've got an odd toy that's lasted quite a while, but on the whole, she tends to, uh, yeah, unstuff them and then all of a sudden she'll do this massive shake and it's like an explosion in a soft toy factory because everything's just covered in bits and pieces. Right, shall I just... I'll quickly do this. I'll quickly do this little canvas. I am going to do a big one, but I'll just quickly do this one as well so you can see what the canvases look like. Have I got a bit bigger brush? I'll use this saber as well, yeah. I've got a bit bigger brush here. These were in a child's set, would you believe? A child's painting set, so I get quite a bit. As I say, it's a case of, again, you are grouting, even though these are all very, very close together. Um, you are wanting to get in between, particularly on the edges as well. So I'll just go up and down. I think I've more or less covered... The different types of things you can get um, other than key rings I mean obviously you know they're just like the acrylic things aren't they so they're gonna take a while um, let's just uh, have a look here okay yeah just small I would suggest actually sealing it before you cut the edges off um, this is one that I'm going to use on a card because my niece, uh, that's the niece with the little girl that uh, likes the princesses, um, has a German Shepherd dog. So I've done this one for her. It's only something like a, I don't know, is it a 10 by 15 or something like that? It's a very small one. Um, so because this is small, it's easier to do. But if you're doing a big one, I would suggest... Um, sectioning it off and doing a section at a time it's probably going to be a lot easier to do but it's just a case of working that uh, sealer into those gems and because they're quite tightly together I just grab my tweezers again um, you do need to work these a little bit more just to make sure it goes right in between okay And it's 
stickers of getting enough on but you can sort of you put it on and take it off with your brush as well so and then i've got to find somewhere for these all to go now i'm dry yay go me <laughs> And I tend to go different ways as well, particularly on full drill ones, um, so that it's going in between the drills because your drills go, you know, they're in like a cross pattern, aren't they? So you want them completely up and down and side to side, as it were. Right, so as you can see, it's covered in white, but it will dry clear. Yay! So that's that one done. Put it the right way, Liz. Right, so as you can see, I think you can see this is just a little bit tacky still, but it's drying. And the mirror, yep, just a little bit, a little, 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 little bit tacky. This one yeah that has dried clear this is practically dry to be fair but you can see look none of your ab gems or anything or any of the sparkle has gone from that at all so i love these i really do love these it's just a little bit not clear mm, i'm gonna have to maybe try a bit of goo gone on that just see what i can do with that because it's got to have something on it otherwise it's suppose unless you seal the letters and then use goo gone mm. but it might take your gems off i don't know and then this one again is starting to dry clear our little bag and our little notebook are all drying nicely as well okay well that's uh, me done for now um, if there is anything else, as I say, that you want me to have a go at sealing or any questions, pop them in the comments down below. Uh, if you've enjoyed watching this and uh, seeing me do these and uh, would like to see some more, then a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. And if you want to join our little family and see follow-ups on these videos and see the follow-up on the coasters, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it, You'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now. Hi everyone, Liz here. So thanks for stopping by again. Uh, sorry, this has turned into a mammoth video again. Um, everybody seemed to like the last one that I did of the comparison on the sealers so this time i've just sealed all of my special drill projects um and i'm just going to show you how they've all turned out now i've just been having a play with this october sign um and as you remember it was all sticky in between all of the letters so i was hoping that maybe Gogon would shift the sealer from in between the letters but sadly it hasn't um, as you can see it does make it very shiny uh, but no it's not going to take that sealer off that sealer is well and truly there so I think what I'm going to do the next time uh, that I do one of these signs I'm going to try using the Gogon and taking the sticky off from in between the letters first actually let me just see if I've got one all right so let's have a look at September, although we're nearly at the end of September and I meant to do this one this month and I've not done it. So right, let's check. Is it all sticky all the way across? Oh, this doesn't want to come off. Tweezers, Liz, tweezers. Right. Yeah, it is. I wonder why they've done that. Well, I know why they've done that because, yeah, it's it's just fast uh, to be fast, isn't it? And um, save money, I suppose, rather than having to put the glue exactly where. Let me just see if I can 
just want a little tiny bit. This is that goo gone, goo and adhesive remover. This is from Amazon. A little goes a long, long way. I use it for taking the sellotape off things. You know, when you've taken the sellotape off and the residue's left. Um, and it's great for taking the residue off your bottles and things like that. So let me just see. This is going to be a real faff to do, though. If uh, I've got to do... Oh, the <laughs> this on everyone oh come on don't play me up maybe it would be better to put the drills on first because that may spread just uh, do a, a sort of a small test patch so i don't want to take all the glue off my letters um let me just see whether that's no that's not taking that go off at all Oh, that's a shame. I am using quite a bit and quite a bit of force. No, that go gone sadly has made no difference to that whatsoever. Let me just try another little tiny drop. Of it. Well, maybe a little bit more. I don't like using too much because it does go a long, long way. It's quite a greasy material, this. But I don't think maybe go gone would take it off. See whether that's worked. Oh no, that feels as though it's worked a bit more. Just stroking it all one way and actually taking it off. Yeah, now that has worked. I don't know whether that the camera can pick that up. Uh, it's a little bit dark today, as I say. It's, oh yeah, you can. You can just see that one strip in the middle. But that is going to be a real faff doing that trying to take this off it's taken a lot of goo gone to get through underneath there to take just that tiny little piece off it's probably about a centimeter long by about a quarter of a centimeter across and that's quite a lot of uh, doing oh it's spreading a little bit now maybe you need to put it on and leave it to soak in right but as i say i think probably the best thing to do is put your drills on first and then if you're wanting to do it, have a go. But that, I, I love these signs, but I am a little bit disappointed with that. So, Because you've got to seal the whole thing because you, you just can't leave a completely sticky blank surface. Something that size, wow. I mean, if it's just sort of the little bits in between the letters, then I suppose you could probably get away with not sealing it. But you've got a whole great big strip here that, you know, it... it it needs well you're going to get a fluff and all sorts stuck on there so yeah that's uh, okay so we've had a little bit of a play with that so I, I don't like to have a bit of a play with these things and see if i can solve problems right so i'll just move those chaps out of the way for now and uh, get back to showing you the things that are sealed on this video and see how they've turned out so, I mean, uh, to be honest, on the October one, I suppose because it's Halloween and it's a little bit spooky, a little bit cobwebby, it doesn't matter particularly that you've got that, uh, that sealer underneath. It's only when you look at it in certain lights. To be honest, when you hold it up to the light, you do see it. Um, but when it's just sort of flat down when you've got it like this, I suppose you can't really see where the lines are but if i hold it up close let's see if i can I think you can see yeah where you've just got the ridges and it's very difficult to get those ridges off maybe i'm just being overly critical and too picky maybe you know it is okay and i suppose yeah it is okay it's just that i don't like the fact that i've had to cover over a clear acrylic um making it a little bit cloudy i would have sooner had it completely clear so that the letters are uh, floating a bit more but anyway but still love them and uh, yeah but anyway the gems are completely stuck they are not going anywhere so yeah that's worked really really well and uh, still sparkly as you can see uh, these have been done mainly with the craft buddy crystal art sealer um and then i did do some of them 
because I want to try and use these up as well. I did do some of the coasters with the sponge one. Uh, so we'll see how that's gone. So, yeah. Okay, so that's the October sign. We did our a lovely sort of stained glass window sunflowers, as you can see. The ABs are sparkling just as ever and all the crystals. And you can just see a little bit on the edges where the sealer has just slightly gone over but it doesn't really show so that's that one and again it's solid so yeah we're not moving anywhere with those yeah i wish when they'd done these where the in between the letters that they'd done like this where in between these parts of the flowers there was no glue at all but I, oh i don't know I don't know. I don't know why they do it. It's just a little bit annoying. Uh, we've got our nice little Pikachu and he is well and truly stuck and sealed. And all this bottom bit that was a little bit tacky is now no longer tacky. So, yep, he's well and truly done and still very sparkly. This was our little mirror. And again, we're well and truly stuck down. And yeah, it still works as a mirror and yeah, you can see those AB coated blues in the middle. Still exceptionally sparkly. So, oh, and I did do my clock as well. Uh, yeah, I forgot about my clock. <laughs> so I've done my clock and his letters, that I, sorry, his numbers that I did put as glow in the dark drills still do glow in the dark. So yeah, you can basically seal. You're putting a clear sealer on things. It's not affecting glow in the dark, any of your specials, anything like that. So it's really, really good. Uh, our B, oh yeah, that's well and truly stuck. Okay, yeah, just got a little bit over the edges in between the little legs there. But again, it doesn't really show. Now then, the matte notebook. We had to be a bit more careful on this one because because it's the sort of the matte uh, shine as it were underneath we didn't want uh, any of the sealer on there Um, where i have put the sealer where we did go completely over you can see it's still nice and shiny still shows up not lost any of the detail and these are well and truly on so yeah really really pleased with that one and all still very shiny and sparkly. So that's the notebook. This is our little purse again. All nicely stuck on, not going anywhere. Yeah, they're really, really good. I am a, sort of about five, six days actually since I did these now. Uh, purely because I've had a friend round and my brother's been to stay and everything. So yeah. Uh, I've just not got any filming done and you know I've not done any diamond painting in over a week as well so this is our Rapunzel and again all nicely stuck down all the edges we did go over the edges a little bit so yep they're all well and truly stuck and all nice and clear still I've got a bit um a bit of uh, dust and fluff on this bit here I'll have to just give this a bit of a wipe over because it's got a little bit of staticky with dust on but other than that it's fine and plenty of sparkle and then the canvas ones that we did now I was thinking um using these sealers you're actually leaving it a little bit flexible I think if you did resin or if you did spray or if you did say varnish it's gonna dry flat and like a solid surface and it may crack whereas these look are still exceptionally flexible once they've been sealed so i think that's the difference between these uh, sealers for diamond painting and your sort of a varnish and things like that but again everything is nice and solid and going nowhere so yeah i will be getting those cut out and doing a little project with those not quite sure why I didn't put a crystal in the middle of these that's annoying me now I'm gonna have to get a little probably a gold crystal maybe and just put it in the middle of each of those flowers I normally do that I wonder why I didn't do that on this one I was probably that excited to get it finished that I've not done that so yeah watch out because I will be doing another project on that one 
and then finally our canvas it's a little bit so it feels a little bit crunchy but it is still exceptionally movable so you know you still you've got your nice solid drills on there that aren't going anywhere they're all completely solid now in there um, but it is still flexible why you'd still want it flexible i don't know but it's just to give you an idea of the difference of them and um, the first square canvas i did it was uh, a scotty dog one it was three scotty dogs and I paid about 25, 30 pounds for it. It was a lot of money and it was only a 20, uh, 30 by 40. And it was squares, as I say. And the drills were appalling. And it took me ages to do. And in the end, what I ended up doing, because the drills were just popping all the time. I mean, some of it maybe have been user error because it was the first square I'd done. And getting your squares absolutely square um and not realizing that you have to pick out the ones that aren't exactly square and maybe have little bits on i've probably missed that completely uh, and what i used to do was roller it and then put the sealer on really really quickly so as i was going along i was actually sealing the painting rollering it and sealing the bit i've done and then going on to the next bit because i, I just oh it was just a nightmare and it nearly put me off squares completely um and I just absolutely hated doing it. But because it was Scotty Dogs, I finished it. I think if it had been any other sort of painting um, or one that I sort of liked but wasn't wasn't completely in love with, which I know that does happen sometimes. <laughs> I do tend to love everything. Um, then I would have probably just never finished it and it would have put me off forever. But yeah, it is still on my wall. Um, I keep it to remind me that perseverance pays off. <laughs> So, yeah, that's my little German Shepherd one done there. So, yeah, just uh, a little update on all the ones I've done. Um, I'll put a little video at the end of everything else that I sealed. I've still missed things. I've got my little mirror sat on my wall uh, and I was looking around thinking, what else do I need to seal? Completely missed that and it's just sat there looking at me now and I've just thought, oh, I've not sealed my mirror. Never mind. So, yeah, if you've got any questions um, or anything you want to check in out as to uh, what else I can seal, um, please do ask and I'll see what I can do. Uh, just a little update on the coasters, the Craft Buddy ones, the Craft Buddy Crystal Art and the Craft Buddy Shimmer Sealer are, are completely solid now, look. They've uh, completely dried, which if you remember in my update on that one after was it two days they were still a little bit tacky but for whatever reason now they're not but it is a lot colder weather now so i'm thinking maybe because we had such humid weather it took longer for everything to dry so and our house is exceptionally warm um at the best of times right so these were the craft buddy ones again uh yeah they're all completely sealed yeah the acrylic ones yep yeah, they're all okay actually was this the this was the mod podge wasn't it so they're the mod podge ones this is the craft buddy one so and then these this was the one with the sponge now that is still slightly movable but if you remember when i actually um read out the instructions it said just go one way so maybe by me doing it the way I did, as I normally do with brushing it over and rubbing it all in, maybe that's not the way to go. Maybe you do just need to go one way and just leave it. Um, maybe by putting it on, I'm taking it off and it doesn't want rubbing in. So that could be user error and that is the acrylic one. And they are still, yeah, they're still slightly movable. So I will have to do more with those. Uh, this one... Yeah, this one's still movable as well, so, oh dear. And then the other one, ooh, a bit more solid. In fact, quite a bit more solid. These these are this one, the diamond painting sealer with the sponge. Uh, and then these are this one, the Lander B one. So, yeah, actually, they're practically seems like every other one so again maybe that's down to user error so i don't want to be unfair to these companies because you know oh that's not that one is pretty solid to be honest yeah that one so that one is okay so it's just the wooden one 
that was the first one I did though so maybe I've not put enough on maybe because I've swished it I've taken so off so what I'm going to do I will once I've done some more coasters do you know carry on with these experiments and um, I've also noticed as well now that Hobbycraft are doing their own versions of like a Mod Podge uh, so I will be ordering those there's a dishwasher safe one now as well I'm going to order that and there is a fabric safe one and it says that you can hand wash things so I'm going to order the fabric one and we'll have a go at maybe doing a cap or I'll maybe get one of those um, little dog coats you know they were selling like dog dog t-shirt things without any arms um, and I might get one of those and just see if we can then hand wash that so the experiments will still carry on because I do like to have a play and see what else uh, there is out there so I will be getting those on order so you know keep watching subscribe to the channel and you will get to see a little bit more as I go along and as I find things out I do like to share uh, and yeah if you've got any hints and tips of what you'll do let me know and i will pass those on to everybody else as well okay plenty of sparkle everything is now finished off and really come out well lovely sparkle on these and all the coasters it's funny you forget what you've done i've even sealed my clock so yeah i say the glow in the dark will still work even though it's sealed and I've got my bag there and my skull smiling away and my frog and uh, there's a wreath over there as well that's from a long time ago and sassy fairy and little owl and uh, I did use this on some of the coasters uh, the only thing I found was the acrylic coasters have taken a lot longer to dry um, using the one with the sponge oops because it's like a clear um, gel and I found last night when I went to bed that the middles were still tacky it's as though the, the uh, sealer had pooled in the middle rather than um, sinking in like it will on the wooden ones but yeah we are still exceptionally sparkly let's just have a look at this one because this has got uh, ABs on it as you can see you're still getting all of that glow so yeah a successful sealing uh, note to self must try and do them as we go along and not leave them all till last minute okay so i'm going to wrap up this exceptionally long video and uh, yeah just say if you've enjoyed these uh, then the thumbs up is always very much appreciated helps me out with your tube any comments or questions are uh, in the comments down below and I would love to see you back. So if you want to press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. You'll just get a notification in YouTube when you log on or to your emails, depending on how you set your settings. Uh, saying Liz has uploaded a new video. Do you want to come and watch it? And hopefully, yay! <laughs> Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.